What's going on, America? This is Kevin in Kevin's Corner. Do any of you all remember the movie Gladiator? My name is Maximus Rilius. Loved the movie, okay? You know, the guy who played the emperor that ended up cheating to beat Maximus, where he went in, hugged him, and stabbed him with the dagger in the lung so he was bleeding internally, and then won. Um, there was, that character to me was the absolute most spineless, crooked, funky character. You know, he, he was up there with, with Longshanks' son. Now, I ain't talking about Longshanks in the movie Braveheart. I love Longshanks. He was great, but his son was horrible. Longshanks, he had me cracking up when his son got mad when he threw his little guy friend out the window. You know, when he was like, who is this who speaks to me as if I needed his opinion? This is Philip, sire. I've appointed him my high council. Is he qualified? And when he came over to him, he yoked him out the, out the window and he died. And then his son got mad, pulled his dagger, eh, tried to stab Longshanks and he slipped him, smacked him to the ground, kicked him in the ribs, <coughs> and choking. And then he sat down and he said, I must make a truce, but who will I send to this barbarian? And he looks down at him and he says, surely not my gentle son. The mere sight of him will only encourage an enemy to take over the whole country. Hilarious. Because the son was garbage. He knew that he didn't have no real heart to lead. He wasn't a real leader. Same thing with the guy in um, Gladiator where he stabbed him. Yeah, he was a punk. He couldn't win fair and square. He couldn't fight Maximus Rilius face to face, hand to hand, right? Kind of like how the Democrats are with President Trump. You know why they will never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever earn my respect again? Because they are soft core. See, I cannot, when I was a kid, okay, there was times where I got bullied. For a while, I was built low to the ground for traction. I wasn't growing, okay? I didn't grow to probably about ninth grade, maybe. I was built low to the ground. I had a jerry curl that never took. My curl just was Everybody else had a nice curl. My curl would last maybe one or two days, and then it was a mess. I went through the acne stage. My teeth grew in. The fronts grew in too quick. I mean, I had the Bugs Bunnies. I mean, I, I looked a mess. I was a, a, I was a perfect victim for bullying, okay? Well, guess what? When I got older, got my man body going on, started hitting the weights. You know what I'm saying? My body caught up with my mentality because in the mind, I was hardcore. My body caught up. I said to myself... If I'm ever going to get physical with somebody, I'm not going to get physical with somebody who's weak and knowing that they're not going to fight back. They can't they can't compete. That gives me no glory. I can't sit back and say, you know what? I beat up all those fifth graders on the playground and I'm 25 years old. No, I get no I get no glory from that. What I ended up doing is when I got to high school, I sought out the biggest bullies around and said, hey, yo, man, can I talk to you for a minute, Mr. Bully? How about this? Why don't you mess with somebody your own size? I was the guy that went out and said, I'm a bully to bully. All right. So with the Democrats, they don't understand that concept. If they're going to win, I will say, why don't y'all win face to face, hand to hand, you know, equal to equal? Why y'all got to cheat? They're running around right now trying to get the president out of office on some technicalities every single one of them running around talking about impeach 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 how about compete 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 how about that instead of impeach y'all need to compete matter of fact title of this one is going to be compete not compete impeach rather so the point is all they want to do is impeach him and then they went one step further trying to get the, the, the Republicans to do their dirty work because some inside guy wrote a, a, an op-ed saying that, oh, it's crazy in here. It's going it's bananas, man. It's pandemonium. You know, he reminded me of like, this was so dramatic. It seemed like something out of wrestling where they'd be like, I'm here at Madison Square Garden. Oh my God, somebody just jumped in the ring. It's pandemonium in here. It's chaos down here. Mean Gene. I, I'm just going to stay for the, and I'm going, you're telling us that the White House is in complete chaos, but yet the results don't reflect what you're writing here, okay? Nobody's confirming it, and I hope they find you. But based off of an anonymous report, you have Elizabeth Warren, you have some of the other Democrats and all of the liberal media saying stuff like, oh, 25th Amendment, 25th Amendment, 25th Amendment, 25th Amendment, 25th Amendment, 25th Amendment. You know what that does? 
that right there shows me that y'all don't believe that you can beat Donald Trump one on one. Y'all don't believe that y'all can beat him square and fair. Y'all have to jump him. You know what? I want to fight him, but I can't. I can't beat him on my own. So I'm going to need the media to help me. I'm going to need the deep state to help me. And I'm going to need all of the corrupt actors in the FBI and CIA. And I'm going to need to make up stories and all of those things. And then I'm even going to try to bully the uh, Senate into um, just invoking the 25th Amendment. That's like having a fight disqualified be, before the night of the fight. Been talking reckless leading up to the fight. Yeah, I can't wait to fight Ali, baby. When I see Ali, when we get in the ring, <laughs> it's going to be me and him. Ding, ding. I'm going to be all up in this grill. Bing, 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 bing. All over him like bumblebees, baby, bumblebees. And then leading up to it, you like, oh, can somebody break Ali's leg for me? Can somebody uh make sure you slip him some drugs before he get in the ring so he's you know he's a little woozy? I can't. I don't really want to face this man one on one because I know I can't beat him. That's what they're doing. They're trying to fix the fight. They're trying to sabotage the fight because they don't have a message. See how you gonna beat somebody when you don't have the same stats as them? Donald Trump's been a heavyweight since he got in by knocking things out of the ring. He getting there, he knocked out all types of stuff. He's beating up uh, trade deals. He's beating up immigration. You know, he got in there, beat up taxes. He's knocking stuff out. Democrats getting there swinging wild and can't get nothing done. You know, they are now contemplating why do we get in the ring? You know, every boxer who's getting beat up, Mike Tyson said it like this. Everybody has a plan until they get hit. Yeah, that is true. You know, they got in the ring and then they got about fifth ring or uh, five rounds in like, oh, shoot, I'm in something real here. How did I end up in this fight? And now that's when the reality kicks in that we're horrible. We don't have any training. We're not strong enough to compete. We don't have a plan. Nothing. So, you know, what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to put something on our gloves and try to blind them. Yeah, we're going to have to try to uh, kick him in the knee, hit him with the Mike Tyson, bite the ear because we're frustrated that we can't win. And that's what they're doing. They're not competing. I don't see how anybody can support that party. I really don't. How can anybody feel good about that type of victory knowing that you're trying to cheat to get it? I mean, it is the most spineless thing that I've ever seen by them concoctioning a fake investigation, talking about impeachment with no legitimate reason why, talking about uh, the 25th Amendment with no data to support it going off of that just goes to show how reckless and desperate they are to get him out of office when you don't even say let's validate the claims just right to the go to yep 25th Amendment based off of he say she say hey Kev I'm gonna have to let you go for what boss you know what the maintenance man, the one who never really even interacts with you, he walks past every once in a while, clean your trash can out and stuff like that. But he told me a whole bunch of horrible rumors about you. He's saying you're taking money out of the, the, the safe. Yeah, you're bullying the employees. You're falling asleep at the job. You're, you're surfing the net all day. And I'm like, who is this guy again? The maintenance guy, I see him like 15 minutes a day and he's out there writing a whole op-ed on me and you're going to fire me based off of that? That's how stupid... The Democrats sound by going around saying 25th Amendment. Yeah, we don't need any proof that circumvents democracy. And they're the first to always talk about he's circumventing democracy. This is this is unprecedented. This right here is a constitutional crisis. A constitutional crisis is y'all saying we're going to cheat instead of compete to get a duly elected president out of office because we can't beat him heads up in one on one. So we're going to team up. We're going to jump him, make up stuff, lie, try to just get him out without a real fight. And then all of a sudden, you know what's going to happen? All the people who voted for him will see that y'all circumvented democracy, as you call it. And it will be a real constitutional crisis because everybody will know that it was a coup. Y'all cheated trying to win. Anyway, you've been listening to Kevin at Kevin's Corner. If you are a supporter of the Democrats, which I hope you ain't. Tell the Democrats to compete, not impeach. Now, find me on Facebook, Twitter. Check me out. Wednesday nights, 730. Also, check out Extreme Tees. Links in the bottom. Thanks to my sponsor. Appreciate them. All right. Hit subscribe. Share this video. Also, if you want to support Kevin and Kevin's Corner, there are links in the bottom to do so. God bless you. See you next time in Kevin's Corner.